at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, September 18, 2023, EV Maker Aero plunges on reverse stock split. This EV player can't catch a break. Shares of Aero stock are plunging on Monday. This follows an announced 1 for 8 reverse stock split on Friday. Investors also appear to be concerned about the company's production speed. One of the leading decliners in today's market, Aero, Nasdaq Aero, stock is now trading at levels below where it started the year. Indeed, what looked like a promising year for investors in Aero has turned sour, with Aero stock losing more than half its value since its July peak this year. This decline appears to be due in part to two key factors. First, the company announced a 1 for 8 reverse stock split on Friday in a bid to maintain its Nasdaq listing. This reverse split appears to be the key driver of today's move, with investors taking the news as a clear negative signal. Secondly, Arrow also announced last week that the company has entered low-rate initial production of its Vanish vehicle. This limited manufacturing run appears to have underwhelmed investors. Let's dive into what investors should make of this drop in Aero stock today. Aero stock sinks on reverse stock split. In general, reverse stock splits are a negative catalyst for most companies. These reverse splits are taken on in order for companies to maintain their listings. Without a public listing, small cap and early stage companies lose access to the public markets for financing. For many companies, that can be a death knell. Additionally, other concerns such as a lack of liquidity for insiders and the inability to offer stock-based compensation drive most reverse split decisions for companies like Arrow. Today's move indicates that the market isn't necessarily jazzed about the position Arrow finds itself in. A niche producer of unique utility low-speed electric vehicles, the firm saw significant interest during the pandemic-driven EV boom. However, Last year's dramatic decline and this year's continuation of that move haven't spurred many investors to dive into this seemingly cheap stock. That's partly because the cost of capital, via debt and equity markets, has risen substantially, along with the Federal Reserve's overnight rate. For now, Aero has maintained its listing. But if it can't provide a roadmap to profitability soon, Aero stock could meet the fate of many other small cap EV players in short order. At least, that's what the market appears to be saying today. Thanks for watching.